Hello out there YouTube friends, I am Cindy and you are watching Sincerely Cindy Settle. Today I have an Amazon Prime Personal Shopper try on for you. If you're not familiar with Amazon Prime's Personal Shopper, it is exactly what it sounds like. They have a stylist, you pay a fee, they send you clothes based on your style profile, and then you can also ask for specific items in there as well. There are a couple things in here that I did ask for specifically, so I'm excited to try those on. So let's get right to it. Okay, so here we have outfit number one. We have this short sleeve, melon collared, I guess it's melon collared, uh, t-shirt with a little bit of a ruffle sleeve here. As you can see, it is rather wrinkly, so not a huge fan of that. I do love the collar. Um, I think the shirt is flattering on me. Uh, I just am not a fan of the fact that I will have to iron it. Boo. Um, and that's really my only hang up with this. I feel like the neckline looks nice. The collar's nice. I mean, it's just a basic t-shirt with a little bit of a detail here. It's not cotton. I'm not sure. Well, maybe it is cotton. Anyway, it's wrinkling a lot. I'm not a fan of that. I would have to throw it in the dryer or iron it. And that is a no-go for me. So let's see about the jeans. So the jeans were a request. These are the Democracy jeans. If you have been watching my channel, you know that I got a pair of Democracy jeans on at Stitch Fix in a Stitch Fix box a couple of fixes ago, and I will link that one above. And I really liked the fit. But I found them cheaper on Amazon. So I asked my stylist to throw in a pair couple of pairs of democracy jeans and these are a boot cut you can see they're a little bit longer a little bit not longer they're a little bit wider there at the ankle than your skinny jean but I feel like they fit me nicely here and in the thighs so I am going to wear these around a little bit and see if I like them so let me know what you think. Do you like democracy jeans? Have you tried them before? Is that a brand that I should stick with? Um, what has been your experience? My experience with jeans is that they sag in the back after I wear them a couple of hours. So let me know in the comments what you think. I'll be right back. All right, so here we are with outfit number two. We have this fun duster cardigan is what they referred to this as. I did ask them for a duster cardigan as well as my last stitch fix and my last trunk club. I'm looking for something that is ankle length that's more of a um, lighter collar, white cream, something like that. Um, this is very comfortable. I like the collar combination of this. Um, it's got some blacks and a light yellow, grays. Very pretty. I like the fringe around the hem and around the sleeve. It does attach right here and then the rest of this is open. So it's more like a poncho type of cardigan, if you will. Um, so here's what it looks like from the back. So for me, I'm just not sure that it's very flattering. I think it would be flattering on someone else. I think it looks very pretty with the black. It would be very nice with a um, longer necklace here. Um, just not sure that it's for me. So let's take a look at the tank top. This is a little snug uh, for sure. It shows a little bit too much around the midsection. You can't wear it without a strapless bra. You can see here the neckline. I like the neckline. I don't have a problem wearing a strapless bra from time to time. However, given the fit of this, you would be able to see the outline of the bra, which I would not be a fan of. So this is going to go back. The jeans, again, they are democracy. I like the fit up here. They are a boot cut. I need to kind of examine that a little bit. Let me pan down and show you what they look like. So these are more of a, uh, a different wash than the other jeans. The other ones are more of a dark wash. These do have a little bit of distressing, but not too much. There's no holes in them. They have a lighter uh, fading here and then darker as they get down to the bottom. I'm not sure if I love that look on me or not. I kind of feel like it brings attention to the thigh area and then right here. So I don't know. I'll need to look back at the footage, but I think I do like the fit 
of democracy. So these might be a go-to jean for me. I just need to wear them around a little bit to see if they are going to slip or slide or anything. So we have one more shirt and a pair of shoes. I'll be right back. Okay, these are the final two items. So this is just a, I don't know, I guess it's just a t-shirt again with um, some detail here. You've got a little bit of a poof sleeve. It's a drop sleeve though, which I think is really cute. I'm surprised that I like this collar on me and I'm surprised that I like the length. It hits right uh, where it needs to be. It can still be tucked if you wanted to tuck it um, and look good in that manner as well. Uh, so I kind of like this. Let me know what you guys think. And you have this little slit right there. Um, the neckline is just a general, um, I don't know, scoop neck? Is that a scoop neck? Collar. Take a look at the sleeves. Now they are a little wrinkly and I was complaining about that with the last shirt, but the whole shirt isn't wrinkled and this, it would be easy, I think, to iron out and it would kind of stay that way for a while. I kind of like it. I'll have to see what the price is. We'll see um, how that goes, but let me show you the Vince Camuto Esper drills that I'm also wearing as well. All right, so pardon my feet. I have not had them done yet for the spring, so um, it's not something I typically do, but I do it for the spring and the summer so that my toes can look all pretty. So these are just a slight heel um, Esper drill. They are like a greenish collar. They have the three strap going across that's kind of woven together as well. Um, I think that's a very cute detail. It does come up around the ankle with a buckle on the side. They're very comfortable. Uh, the heel is not too high. You could wear them with shorts. You could wear them with jeans, uh, dresses, skirts, whatever. But they're very cute and very comfortable. Not sure if they're for me, but um, I do like them. All right, let's see what we're gonna keep. Okay, let's get to the wrap up. So these items, they did come in two separate packages. So you do have two separate mailing labels and uh, descriptions of your orders with prices and that sort of thing. So I will have to send them back separately, but I can use the same packages, the same packaging that they came in. So that's kind of convenient. So let's get right to these prices. So we have the first set of the first pair of Democracy jeans. Those were the darker wash. They are $45.55, which is much better than Stitch Fix. I believe Stitch Fix was like $68 or $78 maybe. Then we have the other pair of Democracy jeans. These are the ones that were slightly, slightly distressed. They are $53.10. We have the melon colored shirt. It is, oh, it's the color Poppy. And it is $28, reasonably priced, but it's a no-go for me. The duster is Steve Madden. It is $25.67, also a reasonable price. The Vince Camuto Espadrille sandals are $98.95. A little bit high, but they're Vince Camuto, so I'm not surprised. And then we have the black sleeveless crew neck sweater tank. It is $29.90. Again, reasonably priced. And then we have this balloon sleeve top in Dusty Rose. It is it is an Amazon brand. It is only $24.50. So this may be a yes. So there you have it. That's my Amazon Prime personal shopper experience this month. So it is $4.99 a month. That $4.99 does not go towards anything that you purchase. It's just for the styling. You do get, you do get the opportunity to look to see um, what they might send you, actually to choose what they're gonna send you. They send you a series of different items that they have chosen for you, and then you go through and click which ones you want them to send. So um, this was pretty good. I mean, I feel like Although I'm not keeping everything, I may keep a pair of jeans and I'm going to keep this uh, dusty rose top. You know, I feel like it's fun. It's a good experience. I like seeing what Amazon has that I may not find myself because let's be honest, they have a lot of clothes and it's kind of hard to weed out what you might like and what you might not like. So 
I like this experience. I like doing the Amazon Primes. I hope you guys enjoy them too. Please let me know in the comments what you think I should keep, what you think I should send back, what should I try that I may not be trying. Um, so I, as you know, I'm doing this because I'm trying to get my style back in my 40s after kids and school and work and all that kind of stuff. So I need your help. Let me know what you think. I look forward to seeing you guys the next time. I am Cindy Settle. Signing out. Mwah.